I have not touched a Raspberry Pi in my life. But people are making cool projects out of it. Like magic mirrors, magic mirrors, retro games, and more magic mirrors. But I don't have physical parts that can help me make magic mirrors. So I'm gonna make a Minecraft server. All right, so first we need a Raspberry Pi Zero, micro SD adapter, and a micro SD card. Yeah, now we're making progress. Now we just gotta connect it. Yeah, this is taking a while now. Oh, it, it can't connect to 5G networks. All right, I guess we gotta reach. All right, cool. We flashed the SD card and we got it connected. Now what? So I watched some tutorials on how to make a Minecraft server from a Raspberry Pi, and a lot of them use this thing called Pinecraft, but that's too easy. So I'm just gonna get the source files from Spigot and run it from there. And after a little bing bang boom, my stuff is running. And it got stuck on decompiling blocks. Yeah, it didn't run successfully. What do you think was gonna happen? So why did that happen? Maybe it's because the Raspberry Pi is slow. Let's wait. Now, 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 yes. I think we gotta upgrade it. All right, throw this away. We need the Raspberry Pi 3B micro SD adapter and the micro SD card. Now we code some stuff and it still sucks. Hear me out, what if I attach a monitor to it and it's still stuck? It's always stuck on decompiling blocks, man. I can't do this, I might give up. But I remember this one quote Winston Churchill always said, if you're stuck, don't. And you know, that man won World War II, you cannot deny it. Alright, I just ran the command on my home computer, and it flew through it like nothing, and I put it in my Raspberry Pi 3, which worked! The server is actually running up now. Now how's the server performance? It's an eensy bit laggy, and the chunks don't load as fast. For a Raspberry Pi 3, this is actually a pretty good performance, because I I, I gave it like 700 megabytes of RAM, so it, it, yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. I think this project's a lot better than spending like, what, $10 a month? to run a Minecraft server. Now I can't do the same thing with the Raspberry Pi Zero because the server version of uh, 1.21 needs Java 23, but there's no 32-bit release for Java 23. So Raspberry Pi Zero can't run it. But it's all cool though, because we got it running on Pi 3, which is like basically Pi Zero. So what did we learn today? One, don't waste 24 hours to wait on some bullshit that doesn't even have a progress bar. Uh, the Raspberry Pi Zero can't connect to 5G because it's a bum and don't ignore your inner Winston. Yeah, so that was pretty fun. I got to save money, so that was, that was cool. Maybe I'll do another project with this.